Hi, Mark Hauser, and I'm here on a Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday. You don't have to tell me, I know. So, we're here to make sure that you get the information that you're supposed to get. Um, something major happened yesterday that um, a project we're working on that's really going to make a difference for everybody here. And um, it's a viral type of way of marketing, we're working on it, and it's We'll be able to take a literally a ten thousand dollar claim, even in a cap state, and turn it into like five to to seven thousand dollars for you. And you're going to do some phenomenal things for the clients that you can't normally do, and they're just going to love it because it's going to really make a major major difference for them. So, let's talk about uh, one major thing that you're going to understand, and that is that to learn our tips and to learn the harder details about them, you need to go and you need to become a member of Property Adjustment National Association. The best way to do that and the best place to do that is in the site and to be mentored. And that means that it's www.adjustingschool.com. Go on, put your information in, join up. I uh, guarantee you that you will love every single thing that you see. In fact, if you want, we'll even give you a tour, okay? Uh, but you need to give me a call, 215-499-8629, we'll give you a tour. Here's the thing for the tip of this day. Tip of this day is about when an adjuster says poor workmanship. That's why we're not paying. We're not paying because of poor workmanship. And the first thing that you need to do is go, ha, 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 ha,
well, uh, 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 yeah, I thought so. You don't even know what you're talking about. So you don't just sit there and go, oh, poor workmanship. Oh, poor, poor me. I, I, I knew I should have, you know, I wished, I was hoping that this was going to be a good one. No. Give us a call if you're a member, and let's straighten this out. Let's, de let's detail this out. There's ways of logically going over because they actually have to prove it. They actually have to demonstrate. They have to show why it's poor workmanship, not just what they say. Now, some things you can see and some things you should know. I mean, if you were looking at a roof and it doesn't have anywhere near the pitch that it should be having for the type of materials that it has, well, you should be seeing that, right? Because we go over that in sight. We talk about that kind of stuff. So that shouldn't have been something you missed, and that's not something that they're going to be, because, you know, because if you didn't do your due diligence, you know, that is a problem also. But if you're seeing everything's right and everything's looking just the way it's supposed to be, then using the word poor workmanship, it's just like, you know, pulling out a card out of their pocket and say, oh, wait, let's try this one. It's like playing cards in your hand. Well, I'll try the, the Ace of Hearts. We'll see how that one works. doesn't work that way. Okay? So poor workmanship has to be proven. Proven. Details. Not just because of who I am. Because of what it is is and this is the documentation okay it's like when we write a book we have notations and everything that's why you need to have them properly document and show show why it's poor workmanship then even that's suspect okay this is mark hauser see you next monday and uh remember Check us out at www.adjustingschool.com. Don't just take their word for it. It's great talking to you. Hope to talk to you on the phone. Remember, 215-499-8629 between 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, not including holidays. Take care.